Hello, everyone. My name is Noah St. John. I'm the CEO and founder of SuccessClinic.com. And I am very excited and honored to be here today uh, for our program on how to build a six-figure, set-it-and-forget-it money-making machine. Uh, over the next few minutes, I'm going to be giving you my five simple steps to get unstuck and automate your business. So I do hope you take notes and uh, definitely hope you enjoy the program. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started right away. All right, well, I'd like to start with what I call the painful truth, and that is your income is limited unless you have the right systems to automate your business. Now, the first fact that I want you to be aware of uh, in today's program is the blueprint that I'm about to share with you has enabled me to build a multi-million dollar company starting from scratch with no money, no list, and no business skills whatsoever. I mean, none, and I'll tell you that story in just a few minutes. And the second fact I want you to be aware of is that this blueprint has also helped my clients add over $109 million in sales just since 2007. So the blueprint that I'm about to show you, it works. And um, I've been very honored and humbled to get praise and endorsements from um, most of the biggest names in the personal and business growth uh, business, the industry, uh, Stephen Covey, T. Harv Ecker, uh, people like that, people like Jack Canfield from Chicken Soup for the Soul, Harvey McKay from Swim with the Sharks Without Being Eaten Alive. And uh, you know, if you go to my website, if you go to successclinic.com or noahstjohn.com, you'll see uh, dozens and dozens more. So anyway, I just want to let you know that um, this stuff works, and I'm excited to share it with you. All right, so today we're going to go over these four things. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you exactly what is a lead magnet. I'm going to then give you my power formula for creating an irresistible lead magnet that leads to immediate online sales. And I'm going to also give you the secret to tripling sales after people get on your list without having to spend any more on advertising. And finally, I'm going to show you how you can have a money machine that brings you more clients, more profits, and allows you to enjoy a life of big contribution, abundance, and personal freedom. All right, so isn't that what we all want? I mean, what is your dream lifestyle? Here's uh, some pictures of me and my beautiful wife, Babette, as we go on vacations all around the world, swimming with dolphins and zip lining in the Caribbean and so on. Uh, I know you've seen pictures like this before, and people like to show them because, it, you know, the point is that it does enable you to have a fun life when you are able to put these things in place. All right, so, but what is your dream lifestyle? What are the things that you want to do? Uh, just to open your mind a little bit, start to dream maybe a little bit bigger, and uh, it will be a lot of fun. All right, so you're in the right place if you're looking for a breakthrough, if you know you're here to make a bigger difference in the world, and if you want to quickly automate your business and stop trading time for money. Uh, because the great news is I know that all of you have already done most of the heavy lifting already. You probably just need this little nuance to bring it all home for you. So I'm very excited for you to get started on this. So why is now the best time to do this? Well, it's what you already know, uh, that if you keep doing the same thing, you'll keep getting the same results. Ben Franklin said there are only two certainties in life, death and taxes. And to that I would add a third, which is that if you keep doing the same thing, it is a guarantee you will keep getting the same results. Now just to let you know a little about my background, in 1997 I started my company, SuccessClinic.com. In my college dorm room, I had a couple of epiphanies, just realizations, and I wanted to really get my message out. I wanted to uh, help people all around the world, but I had no idea what I was doing. Now this was 1997, uh, so mean, years before YouTube and Facebook and social media and blogging. I mean, there was none of that. This was still when we were on dial-up, if you can remember that far back. So um, it was a long time ago, and I had no money, no skills, uh, no contacts, no list. I didn't know anything about marketing, but I just had a dream and a vision, and I just had a lot of stick to itiveness. So what happened was I ended up spending over $100,000 on seminars, courses, books, how-to advice. In other words, I was sitting right where you are, and I didn't have $100,000. Just as money would come into the business, I'd just invest it right back. i just put it right back in my own education because I knew I wanted to get out there. Well. Fast forward 10 years later, after being in business for 10 years, I ended up $40,000 in credit card debt working out of my parents' basement because I really made a lot of poor decisions. I listened to a lot of bad advice, and I really, the worst part was I didn't trust myself. I, I was listening to a lot of you know, very loud, persuasive people and who definitely didn't know what they were talking about. And um, you know, so 
if you find yourself in a situation like that, believe me, you know, you're not alone. And so I knew at that time I had to do what I just shared with you, which is if I want something else, something different, I've got to do something different. And that's when I made a decision that changed my life, which is I decided to hire my first real mentor. And uh, he was very expensive, and I didn't have the money. But, you know, what I've found in life is that when you find the why, you find the way. When you find, if you have a strong enough why to, you find a way to make it happen. Well, 24 months later, my results were, were very shocking and surprising um, to me and certainly to everybody else. But um, I, uh, my books started getting published in all these different languages around the world, um, German and French and Chinese and Japanese and Hungarian and Portuguese all around the world. Uh, I was invited to speak around the world, um, Australia, Costa Rica, you know, countries all around the world, uh, being on, invited on TV and radio programs. And best of all, I met my beautiful wife, Babette, and was able to pay cash for our Caribbean honeymoon. So I literally went from basement to bestseller in just 24 months using this system that I'm going to share with you. And so what I do like to share with folks and my, you know, my coaching clients and, and folks at my seminars is that this is about more than money. It's about lifestyle and legacy. You know, money is great. It's important. And, of course, we want it. That's why we're in business. But what does that money really mean to you? And what, what is the purpose of money? Well, to me, it's about lifestyle and legacy. And this is a picture of, and I know this is a total cliche, but it's the happiest day of my life when I married my beautiful wife, Babette, surrounded by family and friends. So what is the lifestyle that you want to lead, and what is the legacy that you want to leave for your children, your grandchildren, the planet? Right? So think about that. Keep that in mind as we're going through this uh, today. All right, so the question I have for you to start out with is, are you an AFOS or a HISBO? Now, what does that mean? Well, an AFOS is an average frustrated opportunity seeker. That's what we call it on our campus, the average frustrated opportunity seeker. And a HISBO is a highly successful business owner. All right? So how do you know which one you are? Well, average frustrated opportunity seekers are always chasing the next shiny object. They never finish what they start. They're jumping from project to project to project without seeing results. Anytime they hit a roadblock, they say, oh, I can't do it. They throw up their hands and say, oh, I'll go on to the next thing which, of course, never works. And the bottom line is they never reach their income potential because, the, you know, the first sign of trouble, the first roadblock, the first hiccup, the first reversal, they just give up, go on to the next thing, and then it just never, ever works. Now, a HISBO, which is what we call a highly successful or even highly strategic business owner, well, they install systems that work on autopilot. They make plans and follow through even when the going gets tough, and it always gets tough. <laughs> it always does, all right? Before it gets easy, it gets tough, right? They stay focused on the big picture, and guess what? They're making most of the money. So which one do you want to be? That's pretty obvious. All right, so what's your story? What's your story? A lot of my clients, you know, they come to me and they've got a lot of stories. They've got a lot of what I call head trash about marketing. Well, I can't do it. I don't have enough time. I hate marketing. Marketing's for other people. I don't have enough clients. I've tried everything and nothing works. So what's your story? I mean, this is something that, you know, we do talk about a lot, uh, you know, with my clients, but, but just I want you to realize that you can only change your life when you're willing to change your story. I mean, I was a broke, miserable, unhappy guy, and now I'm a pretty happy, you know, pretty well-off guy. And, and how did that happen? It only happened because I was able to change my story. So I just wanted you to think about that as we're going through this uh, process. Okay, so what is profit automation? This is one thing we teach on our campus. We call it profit automation. Well, profit, of course, is your revenues minus your expenses. That's what's left over, and hopefully we've got some uh, when we're in business, right? So that's profit. But automation is the technique, method, or system of operating or controlling a process by highly automatic means, and this is the key phrase here, reducing human intervention to a minimum. Reducing human intervention to a minimum. Now, I would argue that most of you, I bet, watching this program today, have the opposite of automation. In other words, human intervention is at a maximum. You're doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, work with clients. You know, maybe uh, you don't have these systems in place that I'm going to show you today, and so it's all you. It's one-to-one. -one. Well, what we want to get to is the place of profit automation where it's not one-to-one, -one, as much as one to many, right? One to many, and that's when you're going to have the thing that we call leverage. Leverage is where profit really gets on autopilot, okay? So there are three ways to grow your business. This is classic Jay Abraham. Uh, first is to increase the number of customers. Second is increase the revenue per customer. 
and third is increase the frequency of purchase. All right, the number of customers, revenue per customer, meaning how much money people give you each, each time they buy, or the frequency of purchase, how many times they buy from you. Now, if you were to guess, where do you think most business owners, most wannabe you know, entrepreneurs are focusing the majority of their energy? Exactly, in increasing the number of customers, number one. Exactly, that's where everybody's focused on. But let me show you something very fascinating. Now, according to the Harvard Business Review, I want to show you why profit automation, now that's our phrase, not Harvard Business Review, but why profit automation is both easier and more profitable. Now, according to the Harvard Business Review, acquiring a new customer is 5 to 25 times more expensive than retaining an existing one, right? And increasing customer retention rates by a just a measly 5% can increase your profits 25 to 95%. All right, so everybody is beating the bushes trying to get new customers when meanwhile you've got customers in the door that you're not selling to and you're ignoring them, and you are ignoring an enormous amount of profits that are sitting right under your nose. Okay, So this is a big, big point that we do with our clients is we say, listen, do you realize all of the gold that you're sitting on right now that you're not mining? So that's what this system is all about. All right, so let's talk about a lead magnet. I'm sure you've probably heard this term before. It's definitely out there in marketing. But um, you know, just by way of review, a lead magnet is an irresistible piece of information offered to a prospect, that's someone who hasn't bought from you, probably has never even heard of you, in exchange for their contact information. Right? And it's also the first step in my profit automation system. Okay? So it's a piece of information. Now, what is the goal of your lead magnet? Well, the goal is basically to give them what they need to say yes to themselves, meaning to sign up with you, right? Buy something from you, okay? So the seven basic types of lead magnets, so there are more than this, but these are the seven main ones, um, and you certainly don't need to use all of these, and you don't need to use more of these, all right? But uh, or more than these, I should say. But the point is, uh, these are the seven basic types. Uh, we use all of these in uh, in our marketing, and so they are. Number one is a report or an ebook. I'll show you some examples of this in a moment. Number two is a webinar, right? Kind of like this. This webinar uh, training that you're on right now. Number three is a video training series where you give people a, a series of videos where you train them on your process, your thought, uh, you know, your your system, and so forth. Number four is a quiz or a survey. Those are very, very effective. Number five is a toolkit or resource list. People really love toolkits because there's a million things out there, you know, but what are the tools that I need to grow my business or lose weight or you know, hit my golf ball for the, or whatever it might be in, in for whatever market you're in. Number six is a free strategy session. Let's say you're a coach. You want to be using a free strategy session as a lead magnet to uh, have people come in and, and get a taste of your service. And number seven is a discount or free shipping. Let's say if you have a book or a DVD that you are offering. Okay, so as I mentioned, we use all of these. So just a couple of examples here. When you go to our main website, noahstjohn.com, you'll see that we have uh, one of my eBooks. Right? It's called Get Your Foot Off the Break. Right, and you can download that for free at noahstjohn.com, and you can actually see how we do this. All right. So that's uh, one example. Another example is that uh, another one of our web properties, AppFormations.com. Not Affirmations, but AppFormations. That's something that I invented. And so you can check that out at AppFormations.com. And we have a free. You'll see we have a, a free uh, shipping offer there. You know, for my AppFormations book. All right. So those are just a couple of examples. So now let me give you my power formula. P O W E R. My power formula for it creating an irresistible lead magnet. All right, so the P in power stands for positioning. Now your job is to position five things. Yourself, your audience, your topic, your information, and your offer. Okay, so let's go through each one of these. First, your first job on your lead magnet is to position yourself. Now you want to create credibility and vulnerability through your story. Right? Notice that I did that earlier in this presentation. Notice that I talked about my credibility, you know, because probably most of you never heard of me before. And so 
who is this guy Noah St. John? Well, I talk a little about you know, the fact that I've made millions of dollars using this formula. My clients have made over $100 million using this formula. So you know, I've got um, endorsements from the biggest names in the industry and so forth. So that all goes to my credibility. But I also told you a story about uh, my struggles, right, when I was $40,000 in debt working on my parents' basement. So what does that do? It creates vulnerability. Because what happens is the people listening to you or watching your videos or reading your book, they're probably saying, oh, sure, well, she can do it or he can do it. Oh, it's easy for them. But, well, they don't know what I've gone through. So I <laughs> let people know right away, hey, I was probably worse off than you are right now, right, when I started or even 10 years into my business. I had that enormous failure, right? So you see how that creates vulnerability and people go, oh, wow, well, maybe if he could do it, maybe I can do it. See how that works? It's really awesome. So you need to put both of those in. Number two is to position your audience. Now, so you basically say things like, this is for you if, right? This is for you if you want to hit your golf ball further. This is for you if you want to lose weight without having to do crazy diets. This is for you if you want to grow your business without working yourself to death. See? So you tap into the pain, you show them you're in the right, they're in the right place, and you say exactly what they're thinking. Right? And there are ways to do that with surveys and so forth. But you want to use words, uh, you know, the, the old phrase is, enter the conversation that's in their head, that they're already having. They're saying, wow, this person really knows me. They already know who I am and what I want. That's really exciting. Right? And then they go, okay, I feel comfortable here. The third P position is to position your topic. So today you're going to discover, or in this video you're going to discover, or in this ebook I'm going to show you how to. Right? And you insert the transformation you provide, how to hit your golf ball further, how to lose weight without diets, how to uh, you know, meet the man or woman of your dreams, whatever you know, market you're in, how to make money from real estate. So what's possible from doing your work? What's the transformation you provide and that they crave? So now you're positioning your topic. Okay, then the fourth step is to position your information. Here's what we'll be covering. You outline the three points or five points, however many points it is that you cover in your lead magnet, whether it's a book or the video or the other examples that I gave you. You talk about the transformation. Get them excited. Notice that's what I did earlier right, in this program. Notice that I showed you exactly what we'll be covering. And notice that I'm in now covering it. Right? You have to actually do what you say you're going to do. Right? But you talk about it and you get them excited. And then finally you position your offer. And this is where you become what I call the thought leader. So I, you say something like, I'll teach you all that I can in the time we have together or in this report and this video series, and if you'd like more, I'll show you how to take it further. Okay? So you position now your offer as, I'm going to show you everything that I can in the time we have, and then at the end, I'll show you how to take it further. See how you're doing that? You're doing that without being salesy, without being pushy or needy. It's just very matter of fact, and here you go. All right, so again, the five steps uh, or the five positionings, right, that this is the P, this is, we're still on the P in power, right, so step one is to position yourself, your audience, your topic, your information, and your offer, okay? Now moving on to the O-W-E in power, so step two is obstacles, step three is wants, and step four is evidence, evidence, all right, so step two is obstacles. Have you ever noticed that it's really hard to lose weight? Have you ever noticed that it's hard to meet the right person? Have you ever tried to grow your business and it's really frustrating? You see how these are they're obstacles. No matter what you want in life, whether it's you know your market is in money or real estate or or weight loss or whatever it might be, right? There's obstacles. There's things that they've tried and uh, you know it hasn't worked, right? So you create that gap. You show them that you get it and you get them. I, you know, if you've been there, that's why a lot of people, for example, in weight loss talk about how they were overweight. They talk about their struggles with weight. Why do you think they do that to that credibility and vulnerability that I was talking about earlier? Okay, so that's obstacles. Step three is wants, right? What do they want? Would you like to hit your golf ball further? Would you like to grow your business without working yourself to death? Would you like to meet the person of your dreams? whatever it might be. See, you, now you create that desire that's already there in them and you're showing them that, hey, I've got the answer for you, right? I mean, I know that you want this and wouldn't it be great if, if life could be like that? Paint the picture of what life could be like if they have what they want, right? Once they have that thing that they want, 
show them what's possible, right? Remember, um, earlier I showed you some examples just very briefly of, you know, what life is like, uh, being able to travel the world and, and meet great people and, and have my books published in all these different languages. Wow, I mean, there's a lot of people that would like that, all right? So that's possible because I've done it, see? All right, so that's the once. Then step four is evidence, evidence, social proof, case studies, testimonials, examples, success stories, whether from yourself or your clients, but best is both, right? Like, I've, I've made this much money, and my clients have made this much money. That's really effective. So here's an example of that, one of our clients. Sheila Valle is a small business owner from California. I grew our sales to $75,000 a month. And, you know, this is a real-life success story from one of my clients. And she writes, before working with Noah, our sales were $5,000 a month. After working with Noah, our sales grew to over $75,000 per month. That's not a typo. $75,000 per month. Thank you, Noah, for taking the lid off my thinking and letting me know I could have the best. Right? Isn't that amazing, that, that, that phrase that she says there, taking the lid off my thinking, like I was talking about your story earlier. So for many of our clients, I would argue for most of our clients, a big, big part of that is taking the lid off your thinking and showing you what's possible, that you can have this too. Okay? So you understand that's an example of a case study of evidence, right? And then the R in my power formula, so that's the P-O-W-E, okay? So positioning, obstacles, wants, evidence, and finally R is for reveal. That's where you reveal your offer, right? You reveal it. And this is making a smooth transition from your information, right? You've just been giving them all this information, and now you're going to make an offer, meaning... Here's how you can give me money, right? Give me money for this thing that you want. So you show them up front that you'll be showing them how to take it further. This is how you avoid the whole thing of bait and switch and, and saying, oh, sure, it's just a scam or whatever. No, you say, well, now we're going to go from information to transformation, how you can develop your own or how you can have your own next steps, things like that, right? So you're just using like a bullet or, or even in your words if it's a video or in – in the uh, text, if it's a book and so on, you're just making a very smooth transition to your offer. Okay? So the fact is, automating your business does not require creativity. It's a system, a formula, right? It's very paint buying numbers, very step by step. Okay? And whether you know it or not, you have something to offer and you have a system. You just need the blueprint to get unstuck and to automate your business. Right? So, Another example from our, you know, one of my clients, Mike Kamoyna, who's a filmmaker from New York. And he says, I doubled my income and then doubled it again. And he writes, I'd spent over $35,000 on every personal growth program out there, but I was still stuck. By following Noah's formula, I doubled my income in 90 days and doubled it again in the next 90 days. So it's simple. Noah's system will change your life. So if you'd be interested in doubling and doubling, um, you know, that's, that's what's possible. This is... This has happened. These are real life stories. You can, again, you can check them out on our website. All right? So basically, I want to now uh, give you the five steps to my, uh, what we call my six-figure business machine. All right? So these are the five steps that have allowed me to make millions and my clients to make many, many millions. Okay? So the first step is to craft your magnetic offer that attracts and serves your ideal clients. All right, so what is an offer? Right? An offer is 90% outcome and 10% service delivery. All right? So we call it 90% what and 10% how. All right? So the point is that people want outcomes. They want results. They don't really care how it's delivered. All right? So the classic, uh, in the olden days, what it used to be was, you know, you get 23 DVDs, and 172 pages of workbooks, and, and all this. And it, it used to be in the industry something called the thud factor. And the louder the thud, right, imagine you had you know, a book or a, or a big you know, binder with all this stuff in it, and you want the big thud, right? Now, in the olden days, that was good because people weren't overwhelmed by information. But are we overwhelmed by information now? Absolutely. You and I and everybody out there are totally overwhelmed. In fact, the number one thing we hear is overwhelm. And so the point is, if I could show you how to make a million dollars and I gave it to you on a napkin, 
would you really care, right? Would you really care that the thud makes no thud at all? No, you'd be thrilled at this point. You're like, please simplify this, right? So everybody wants that. Everybody wants it to be simple, right? It doesn't matter how many hours it is, okay? It just matters, can you get me the result that I want, whether it's to grow my business, make money in real estate, meet the man or woman of my dreams, lose the weight, hit the golf ball for the, whatever it might be, okay? So talk about the outcome. Talk about the result. Talk about results you've gotten for yourself and for your clients. And then talk about how you're going to deliver it. It's delivered online. It's delivered in this five-week coaching program. It's delivered in 90 days. Uh, and we're going to have five calls together and so on and so on, right? So, but people don't really care about that at this point. They just care about the results. So this is the phrase we like to use on our campus. They're buying the destination, not the plane. All right, so recently I, I took my family on a trip uh, to Punta Cana for, you know, the holidays. And what I, did I care about what kind of plane we were on? No, I just cared that the plane got us there and, and back, right? But at the end of the day, I'm buying the destination. I'm buying the holiday. I'm buying the vacation. So stop selling the plane. Many of you are still selling the plane. Oh, I'm going to spend this many hours with you, and it's going to be this, and it's going to be that. People don't care anymore, okay? So remember, they're buying the destination, not the plane. Okay, that's step one. So step two is the, my step-by-step -step formula for creating your lead magnet that turns prospects into happy customers and raving fans. All right, so I talked, I gave you my power formula, and, you know, in my six-figure business machine, we do take it further. Basically, we talk about how to create hunger and desire in your audience without being salesy, right? How to position yourself as a celebrity thought leader, even if you're not famous which most people aren't, right? So how do you position that uh, yourself as a celebrity thought leader? What to put in and what to leave out? There's, there's a formula for doing that. You want to make sure that you leave enough out so that you're not giving away the store. I used to make this mistake. I used to, because I just love teaching. You can tell that I enjoy teaching. I love it. And it's a lot of fun for me. And so I would just literally fix people. And I'd say, here you go. And they'd say, thanks. And then they'd leave. And I'd say, well, don't you want to buy the program? they said, no, you just fixed me. Thanks, Noah. And I'd go, walk away scratching my head going, well, what the heck? You know, that was very frustrating. And so it took me a, a long time to realize, well, wait a minute. I'm actually giving them too much. Now, you want to make sure that you give them enough so that they don't feel like you're just talking about air and, and stuff. And don't we all know when the speaker is up there, you know, or the author even of a book, and they're, they're just, it's all fluff. There's nothing there. And isn't that annoying? And so you don't want to be that guy or gal, right? You want to make sure that you are giving really good, solid information. Like, again, look at the examples that I'm giving you today. You can just walk away, even if you never, ever talk to Noah St. John or, or buy anything from me ever, I have given you really good value and so probably sometime down the road, you're at least going to look at something that I've got for sale and say, hmm, is this free stuff? Is this good? Wow, I wonder what the paid stuff is. The paid stuff must be fantastic, which it is. You see my point? So that's how you want to position yourself. All right, so very, very simple like that. And that's a, that's a formula. All right, so the uh, six-figure business machine step three is to attract a flood of qualified leads without breaking the bank. All right, so there are so many things out there about how to get leads. And, and listen, leads are the lifeblood of any organization, of any company. Without leads, you will go out of business without the sufficient number of them. All right, but I want to share with you that we, there are three main ways that we fill all of our funnels. And they really don't cost a lot. Okay, now there is a little bit of a cost, but I started with no money. All right, no money at all. So I, I wasn't even spending money on advertising until literally like the last year and a half in my business. All but prior to that, it was all free. So here's how we do it. With the three main areas that we uh, use is emails, social media, and affiliates. Emails, social media, and affiliates. Okay, so I mean, you have to have, uh, and like for, for example, in Six Figure Business Machine, this you know, program that I have, 
Like I give you all the emails, I, I, and I'll talk about that in a second. But there, you know, there are there's a system, a formula of filling in the blank uh, for using emails. Also for social media, all of you should already be on social media, and so that's free. You don't have to do it. You don't have to pay money for that, and you shouldn't pay any money for advertising. Let's be very clear. You should not pay money for advertising until you know what your funnel conversion is, because otherwise you will be losing money. You'll just be throwing money away, and you don't know if it's making you money or not. So there's a scale-up process in that, and you should always start with free. Okay? And then affiliates. That's mostly free, but the, it's free in the sense that when someone mails for you uh, to their list, then they only, you only pay the money after a sale is made. So do you see that's a really cool way to get started? because you don't have to pay money up front. You've already received the money, and then you're paying someone after the sale has been made. See the difference? So paid advertising means you have to pay money whether a sale is made or not. That's, that's, you, none of you should be doing that unless you are ready for it. But listen, building your list is not optional. All right? The only way to build a six-figure online business is to build your list without breaking the bank. Right? And in Six Figure Business Machine, I do give you the steps that I paid over well over $150,000 to perfect. Okay? But again, it is not optional. So there are some teachers out there who say, oh, you don't need to build a list. Just do everything on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter. And my point to that is, do you own Facebook? Do you own Twitter? Do you own YouTube? The answer is no, you don't. And so <laughs> if you haven't noticed, Facebook loves to change their rules like every second Tuesday. So um, you could be building your list and have 100,000 people on Facebook group, and meanwhile, you, you, do so, you don't even know what you did. Boom, they take it away, and where's your list? It's all gone, and you cannot get it back. All right, so um, the way that I look at this is like real estate. Okay, building your six-figure machine, your six-figure business machine, is like developing real estate. Right now, let's say you have a website that doesn't have much traffic. Well, your, your property isn't very valuable. Right? It's like having you know, an acre in the middle of the Sahara Desert. Okay? But an acre in the middle of downtown Manhattan, it's the same square footage, but it's a lot more valuable. Why? Because of one word, which is traffic. Okay? So how do you... How do you build that? It's through building a list. All right, so that's step three. Now step four is to exactly how to triple sales without spending a dime more on advertising. Okay? So this is what I was just referring to. We call it the stream. Now this is a sequence of emails that run for approximately two weeks after someone opts into your list. So after they get your lead magnet, what do you do? All right, you send them the emails on the stream. Now what do AFOSs do? Remember I talked about AFOSs in his boat? So an AFOS is that average frustrated opportunity seeker. Well, what AFOSs do is what they've been told to do. Okay? And it's so for a lot of you, it's not your fault. And this is what a lot of people are teaching out there when it comes to funnels. All right? So you've, you've probably heard this phrase, you know, build your funnel. And it's not it, – you, you do have to build a funnel, but the way that they're teaching it is usually wrong. Okay, I'm talking about these internet marketing so-called gurus. So after, here's what APOS would do. After people opt into their list, they send one email after another saying, hey, you want to buy it? Want to buy it? How about now? 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 All right, now, is that annoying? You're darn right it is. It's annoying as hell. Just like if you are at a party and somebody comes up to you who you never met, and you say, uh, and they say to you, uh, hey, um, I sell real, real uh, or I sell insurance. You want to buy some? How about now? How about now? How about now? How about now? Oh my God, you, you want to punch them in the face, right? Well, that's exactly how it feels when people receive your emails like that. So it annoys everyone on your list, it lowers your perceived value, and it absolutely, and there's no question about this, causes people to unsubscribe and just get off your list, and then you can't market to them anymore, and there's no way they're going to buy anything from you. So what his bows do, highly successful, highly strategic business owners, they send the stream emails. They don't annoy or irritate. In fact, it adds value, it builds trust, and it promotes your product or service without being pushy or needy or salesy. Okay? So the secret to tripling your sales is stop acting like an A-plus and start doing what his bows do. Okay? So you use the email stream 
to follow up without being seen as pushy or needy or salesy. It's adding value to the people on your list, and that's why they stay, and that's why they actually look forward to your emails rather than, oh, not another one, right? That's what you never want to be. And finally, step five is to expand your reach and become a celebrity thought leader. Expand your reach and become a celebrity thought leader. All right, so this is now where we get to traffic. All right, so this is the final step to turning on your six-figure business machine. All right, this, this is where you attract the right traffic for your magnetic offer, and it is, in fact, the difference between success and failure. All right, so this is what we call targeted traffic. Okay, targeted traffic. So the classic example being you don't want to sell dating advice to married people. Right? You don't want to target married people if your product is dating advice. That would be pretty dumb. Okay? And you're going to annoy people and you're going to go out of business. Okay? So the classic example. I'm just using that as a very simple example. Right? So the point also is that a lot of people are just saying, hey, just get traffic. Well, it doesn't make any sense. Getting traffic when you don't have the right offer is also uh, the key to failure, right? Because here you are, it, the, the analogy we use on our campus is it's like a restaurant, right? So imagine you have a restaurant, you open a restaurant, and you say, hey, everybody come on to the restaurant. Everybody comes in, you get a full house. And then they say, uh, well, great, uh, where's the menus? Oh, well, the menus aren't ready yet. Do you have any food? Oh, no, 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 uh, food's not quite ready yet. It'll be ready in about two or three weeks. How do you think that's going to work out, right? You think people are going to come back? You think they're going to stay for two weeks to get a meal? Obviously not. Okay, so do you understand the point? You've got to have the menus, you've got to have the food ready, and then you invite people, and then they're excited. Does that make sense? Okay, so targeted traffic plus your six-figure machine equals profit automation, and it also, in fact, equals financial freedom for you. Okay? So the great news is once you have your six-figure business machine, you can stop depending on converting one-to-one, -one, which I know many of you are doing, which really is the hard way. I mean, one-to-one -one is very, very hard. Why? Because there's only one of you. All right, like for example, one of my clients, Dr. Stacy Cooper, came to me, and she's a chiropractor, a fourth-generation chiropractor, and her idea was when she came to me, she said, well, Noah, I just want to uh, get more patients. I want to just see more patients every day. I said, great, Stacy. You do, you do realize that you, what you just told me is you just want to make a more harder, longer job for yourself, right? You just want to have work longer hours and, and have a harder job. She said, well, no, I don't want that. I said, well, do you realize that there's only one of you, right? Yes. You can only be in one place at one time, right? Yes. Well, then you just told me that you want more work. And you want, and by definition, there's a limit on your income. She said, well, gosh, I never thought of it that way. So the point is, you know, we worked her through the system. We brought her through. Now she went from having no website. She's got an awesome website, no lead magnets. She's got several lead magnets. She's got no products. Now she gets six products. And she's doing live events, and she's making more money than ever. So, I mean, it just completely transformed her business in a period of less than 12 months. Okay? So the point is now you can have an automated money machine that brings in customers while you sleep which is the easy way. I know that's a total cliche, but every day I wake up, I check my, um, you know, my shopping cart, and there's more orders while I was sleeping. It is pretty sweet. Okay? So here's what to do next. Um, that's kind of all the time that I have for the presentation. Of course, for now we're going to uh, get to your questions. Uh, but here's what to do next. I would encourage you to go through um, you know, my funnel, my system, see how we do it. You can get my new ebook for free. Uh, get yours at noahstjohn.com. That's our main website, noahstjohn.com. Get best, better, faster results. And again, just check it out. Uh, also, if you want us to help you with your strategy, you can get your free digital marketing blueprint uh, here at Infusionsoft. They're going to talk to you about that. Use that link here at infusionsoft.com slash noahs, and O-A-H-S. All right, and uh, they're going to explain to you uh, how to do that. And also, if you want some more help, you can get more info about my Six Figure Business Machine at SixFigureBusinessMachine.com. SixFigureBusinessMachine.com. You can read more about what we have here for you um, and more about my Six Figure Business Machine and how it might help you uh, build your business and build your Six Figure Business Machine. All right, so uh, that's the end of my formal presentation. We're going to get to your questions now, and uh, look forward to it.